to the end, eh? Names still being mentioned. Let's face it, Sasha is going to be a uh, household That's name. If, if people keep slagging off the way they do and make out we're bad parents, etc., yeah, she'll still be known. Sasha will become a household name, so hopefully it'll help her career. What, what do you think about all the attention you get in the papers and, and that sort of thing? It's all right, because, like, my mates see it. And then some of them believe it, some of them don't. No, the ones that know you don't, do they? What? The, the people who know me, like my, my true mates, um, they don't believe it. Because I tell them as soon as I go back to school, because well, they know me. If she'd said half of this on the TV, or a slander on the TV, I'd have embarrassed her and made her look stupid and sound stupid. So she waits till after we're gone, backstabbing two faced bitch, and puts a bit in the newspaper, making out that we're such bad people. Or f I can't stand people like that. I, oh. I agree with some of the stuff she said. But, why go behind your back and do it and then... I think people find it controversial that the fact that Sasha can have, like, beauty treatments like nails, tan, hair extensions, but it, it just, it really does baffle me because, you know, a fake tan, it washes off, it doesn't harm you. Um, hair extensions, they clip in and clip out, it doesn't even wreck your hair. People see her from a picture and don't know, actually, like, the person that's in a tracky bottom is on a trampoline in the rain. They don't see that, they see it as a Barbie doll that wears that all the time. So, you know, I think if they actually got to know the other person, then, that, you know, they might change their mind. But if they're now minded not to see the other side of it, then that's, that's their problem. Undeterred by Lorraine's criticism, Jane is keen to keep up the momentum in fulfilling Sasha's dream of becoming a model. Today, they are off to a top model agency in Manchester to see if they'll sign Sasha and Max up. Uh, yeah, we're going to Ross this model agency to um, uh, Boss Model Agency in Manchester, which obviously makes me a good one. To see if they want to take the kids on to um, do modelling. Um, Meant to see if they want to take Sasha on, but I want to get them to take both of them on. Um, and then they're going to earn a fortune and do. They want to do TV advertising, which which we've got to eat. watch this space. Every time you turn it on, you will see their faces. They're going to be worth a mint. Keep me my old age. Why you really smiling when we got there, Sasha? Because you're dead. You shut up! No, you better shut up, Pete. Why weren't we smiling at? Not Am I going to be smiling at all? Because if you don't get sex on this one, Sasha, I'll sit you grounded. What am I going to be smiling at? You're smiling at anyone. Smiling. You're smiling at a traffic light. I wouldn't say she's a pushy mum, but she doesn't hold back. She will encourage. She, she does encourage Sasha, um, but I wouldn't say she pushes her. Hello. Morning. Hiya. Hiya. Hi. I'm Melanie, one of the directors. Hello. Nice to meet you. And you are? Sasha. Sasha. Hello, Sasha. And who's this? That's Max. Max. Hello, Max. You can listen to his music if you like. This is probably quite boring for Max. We're interested in modelling. In modelling. They've both done like beauty pageants in the UK. Max came third, and um, so we're just interested in you know modelling, TV, advertising, anything, you know, just that sort of thing. So we could visual. Yeah. They're both theirs, yeah. Wow, not very grown up on these, don't you? How old are you? Um, eleven. Eight. You're 12 in yeah. uh, July. To see your kind of thing, into gymnastics. And She's a national cheerleader as well. Yeah? Splits and salts and yeah. stuff. Were you lighten the hair? Yeah, she has yeah. a... a um, is, this, is this actually for the pageants that yeah. they do this? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they kind of like do all this sort of stuff. Um, but, I mean, it's actually, it's actually like that light. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, for, for child modelling, she's really cute. She photographs very well. Uh, she's got some nice pictures. Um, they are kind of a little bit geared towards the, the kind yeah. of the beauty field, if you like, yeah. which yeah. is not quite the same as what we do. Yeah. They're not linked, right. not by any stretch. Yeah. And the very, very lightened hair would probably need to be toned down yeah. a little bit yeah. Yeah. For, for modelling because um, it's, it's almost too adult. Okay. So what are your hobbies? What are your interests? Um, I like doing cheerleading. Cheerleading? Do you? So it's all kind of a bit all American, this theme. That yeah, it is. Along. It is what we're doing. But obviously, mm. um, she does it naturally anyway. You know, because she's she's in a team. But yeah. How long have you been doing it? Um, Cheerleading since you were what five? five. Yeah. Okay. 
from our point of view, the first thing we have to do is assess whether or not, as a family, they would work, simply because it's not just the children, it's the parents. The parents are the, ultimately the people that our clients deal with. So we like to feel that um, it will be a professional, nice experience for our clients. So we vet the parents as much as we vet the kids. I think the little boy will be a complete handful. Um, he didn't hold his attention. When you talk to the daughter, um, the parent answers all the time. So I couldn't quite get out of the child what kind of personality she had because I, d I was not allowed to speak to her. As soon as I asked her a question, the mother jumped in. And, um, so it kind of smacks a little bit of pushy parent, although I'm sure she's a lovely, lovely woman. Um, they just strike me as being a little bit old before their years, to be honest. Um, the full head bleach, the makeup. She's 11, and we like our kids to look 11. Hello, me again. Hi, uh... OK. <clears throat> um, We've had a chat with the bookers, they've had a look at your pictures, they do think you're very pretty. If you're serious about it, then yeah. you'll be serious about the way you are as a, as a, as a, a nice, young, natural, natural, that's the key word, natural, healthy child. Yeah. All they want to see is you as a child, as you should yeah. be. Just normal, fresh, clean, no makeup, no nails, no hair, nothing. Yeah. It's all about as you are. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, it's right, it's just all it. You've been to loads of them before, so it's not different. Um, we just want natural kids, which we knew in the first place. I know what they're going to say, it's not different. And will you, will, will you make the changes? Um, I don't know, ask Sasha. Sasha, over to you, I'm answering. Well, you're, you're, you're going to change mine, not me. Yeah, but do you want to? Yeah, I want to change mine, but then you always say no. Sasha, if she wants it changed, she get it changed. At work, 100 miles away in Hull, Martin has a renovation to complete, so leaves the career planning to Jane. Yeah, Jane gets excited about anything that gives her attention. Um, Jane's got this, I want people to look at me, um, I want to be a noticed, etc. Fine, I've got no problem with that, but I'm not interested. I think Jane was probably starved of attention when she was younger. I don't know, it's a psychological thing. With Jane, she just, I think she enjoys the attention and, and craves it. I do kind of live in a bubble, yeah. I'd say that, just like to smile, you know, think everything's okay, and put a brave face on all the time, no matter what. I know I'm a nightmare. And I do try and not be a nightmare, but I know I am. <laughs> I think Martin just deals it by ignoring me. And I just go back to my bubble. <laughs> I don't know whether Martin understands, but you have to ask him. I haven't got a clue. He, you know, we, we get on. You know, I don't know whether he understands me. I don't think anyone understands me. I think, you know, I don't know. I haven't got a clue, really. There's less than a week to go until the family jet off to Dallas. Sasha and Jane look up photos of 12-year-old reigning pageant queen Kendall Kimbler. Kendall's mum has been enlisted to help train Sasha. She's blonde. Mm. You'd have to be bikinis anyway. Going down. I was expecting her to be brown. But the pictures have all been airbrushed. Then. They've all been touched up with the pictures. Yeah. Is it exciting to see the pictures of Sasha? Yeah. Just so I know what she looks like. Yeah. You know what you're looking at when you see her. But, um... No, she always gives a lot of pointers. She'll know what she's talking about and that sort of thing. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, she, she probably looks more like Sasha when she's normal. Obviously, when, um, obviously when they're done up. Yeah, but obviously when they're done up, they're really like barbers. With the attention to detail put into the American pageant look, there's lots to get ready for the eight categories Sasha will be entering in Dallas. Okay. Jane is in no doubt that Sasha will be victorious. Is she going to win? Sasha, what, what a stupid question. Is Sasha going to win? Of course she's going to win. I'm not, I'm not even going to continue. It's gonna, she's going to win. I'm that good. Okay, walk straight back to me. 
think Sasha's kind of expecting to come somewhere in the pageant. Um, 